Hello everyone, my name is Lacey and welcome back to Late Night Coloring Mama. Tonight we're going to do part two to a color in chat. And the book that we are coloring is Posh Creations Color by Number by Steve Duffendack. And this is the page we're coloring. So let's get started. Okay, we left off and now we're gonna be on number seven, which is this color. And again, before we start, um, the key is actually in the back, so you guys can always see what you're coloring if you're interested in this type of coloring book. Okay, so number seven, I have 102, raw umber and i am using the dabo and shobo art marker dual tip i got broad and fine i always use the fine tip so this is the fine tip and this is the broad and so far i'm loving these markers they actually color pretty nice i think so yeah, let's get started. So let's see where the number sevens are. Okay. Looks like it's going to be the nest. Speaking of nests, I think there's actually some birds building a nest in our gutter. Um, in my previous video, I was saying how we had a three season porch. And usually I go out that way to let the dog outside. Well, I noticed like the other day when I was doing dishes, some birds fluttering by the patio doors. And one was like hanging out on the patio door on the top on the outside. So I think they might be getting a nest in there. We get so many birds in our backyard. We had a garden over the spring and summer. And now that it's fall, it's not, you know, we don't use it. And they're just going crazy over there. I swear the other day we had like 20 birds in our yard just sitting on the grass, eating the grass, or fluttering around. And a few different kinds. Kids love looking out the window and seeing all the birds. Also, I said there's pretty much a lake behind our house. Um, we get ducks in our yard, too, in the back sometimes, so they like to see them. So, yeah, I just thought of the nest thing when I was coloring this. Oh, that's a nice brown, brownish color. Actually looks good, I think, for a nest. I remember, gosh, this has been years ago. I have to think about it for a minute. Almost 20 years ago, when I first lived on my own, I used to be obsessed with like birdhouse decor. So I had like decorative stuff for the living room and like the kitchen. Not so much into that anymore, but did anybody else ever obsess over like birdhouses, birdhouse theme, or birds? Yeah, I used to really like that stuff. 
And it went really well because of my old kitchen, like the cabinets that were there before we bought were like, um, before we bought our home were like, um, almost like not a hunter green, but a darker green. And the hardware was like a gold, so it looked really nice. Yeah, but that was a long time ago. Things change, that's for sure. Oh yeah, I'm liking this color a lot. Looks like we have this color that we're working on now and two others. Um, like I said in my previous video, I'll probably leave the white for now till I figure out what exactly I can do or what I want to use. Because I'm trying to find a white that actually shows and like stands out in pictures. So if you have any suggestions or things that might work, I would be interested in hearing that. I feel like I don't have any luck with white. I mean, I've tried gel, excuse me, gel pens before with white and they don't, the kind that I had did not show up really well. Same with colored pencils. I'm just not finding a good white in what I have. So yes, I would take any suggestions. If you guys find a white that really pops, let me know. That'd be great. I'd love to hear that. So last night I was up kind of late and just coloring, um, coloring that picture I'm working on, one of my whips about the med meditative coloring book that I was talking about in a previous video. Trying to finish that. I'm so close to finishing that now. And I was just catching up on some YouTube videos that I haven't had a chance to watch and Gosh, everyone is so good at coloring. I love it. Now that is something I can do when I color. I can watch and listen and color to coloring videos. It's relaxing and it's easy for me to do that. Do you guys watch coloring videos when you color or do you just not color and just watch them or what do you do? I think we're almost done here with the sevens. I'm enjoying coloring this picture. Like I said before, I feel like this is a much smaller page than what I'd normally color. Maybe it's not. Maybe just the book looks smaller. I don't know. I feel like if I hold my hand, maybe you can tell compared to like a normal one. Okay, I'm just checking to see if there's any more sevens. I think that's it for sevens. We'll move on to eight. Which for that, I'm using the Dabo and Chobo Fine tip again, number 42, bronze green. So 
we'll see how that looks. I'm guessing it's going to be leaves, maybe. Oh, that's a nice green. How was the weather for you guys today? I think we, it was sunny out. I think we had a high of like 46. So I did have my winter coat on. We were out and about, but it did feel good. Just the air felt nice. So yeah, I think it was 46. I didn't need a hat or anything, but I just wore my winter coat. Maybe soon I'll need the hat though and the mittens or gloves. Any more eights? I'm hoping to get this coloring finished tonight on this page so we can start something else. I think I am going to swatch those um, Prismacolor markers I was telling you guys about. I got mine at Hobby Lobby. I did see them on Amazon. They are a little bit more expensive on Amazon. Not too much more. Like three or four dollars more. I did find them on there. Oh, got another eight down here. Oh yeah, I like that green. It looks pretty good. There are actually quite a few of coloring books of mine that I would love to finish front and back. I won't set a specific time for me because I don't know. I'm a slow colorer, like I said. Um, but I would like to finish a few of them front to back. I don't know if I'd ever finish them all. But there are a few that I really, really enjoy coloring in that I'd love to finish front and back. A few color by numbers and then there's some of my Disney ones that I'd like to finish that aren't color by number. And there's some that are color by number that are Disney that I'd like to finish. And then some that are just regular color books that aren't Disney that I would like to do front and back. Okay, let's see. I don't think I'm seeing any more eights. I think that's it. All right, so let's get in here. Okay, so number nine is that blue. I'm using the Dabo and Chobo Fine Tip 63, and I'm probably saying this wrong. I always say this wrong. Ceruline Blue. So that's the color I'm using, and it looks like there's quite a few number nines. So 
so I'll just start up here and see. Oh, I can already tell that I think I'm going to love, love, love this blue. So I was browsing Amazon, which I do a lot to look at all the coloring items, supplies, books. And I seen, well, it's pretty new. It came out in September. I just came across um, Jason Hamilton. And you guys know I love mandalas. Well, the one that I seen was number three of a series, and um, it was, I think it was like a hundred mandalas in patterns. I think that's what it was called. Could be wrong, but I'm, I'm that sounds like that was right. Oh my goodness. I want them all now, because I love mandalas. Love, love, love them. So yeah, I came across that. Do any of you have those books from Jason Hamilton? I mean, I just came across it and I was like, mm, I really like those. If you do, do you like them? Or have you colored in them? And going back to finishing coloring books, if you guys have finished a coloring book, how many have you completed and which coloring books? I'd be interested to hear. Because color by number, I can go a lot quicker than I can on a regular page because like I said previously the regular page you pick out the colors I can picture the colors in my head and I enjoy doing that but those pages take me a lot longer than a color by number and color by numbers take me a while too just the regular ones they take me quite a while and I have always, always been that way, even when I was younger. I remember being in school and you'd get like, I don't know. I remember coloring like maps and stuff in school when I was young. And I'd always take my time. Of course, we had to finish it that night, but I would be up late just taking my time coloring because I wanted it to look good. For the teacher and everything. I was a very shy, shy student and didn't talk much until you get to high school, till I got to high school and then we had to talk more. So I started talking more probably my junior year. But yeah, I've always liked coloring. This blue looks almost like, on paper that I see, it almost looks like um, a turquoise. It might not look that way for you guys, but it does to me. I can hold it up when we finish this. So let's see. That was really pretty. I love it. I absolutely love it. Mm. 
Okay. And I love all colors, but this is one of, this would be one of my favorite colors. This color, just so pretty. What is everyone watching tonight if you're watching anything? Is there a good TV show you're watching? Or any good movies or a good movie or I'm always looking for something to watch. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to watch. And I can watch pretty much anything. But I have a hard time always deciding what I want to watch. Never decide what I want to watch. When, when we're watching movies at night when the kids are asleep, it's about the only time I watch a movie or a show is when the kids are asleep. No, I don't color when I'm watching movies or TV shows because then I can't pay attention, so... I can't color because I won't color anymore. I'll be too busy watching the movie or show, so... But watching YouTube coloring videos and coloring, that's different for me. I'm not sure why, but I just... I don't know. It's so relaxing watching you guys color. And I can listen, but with movies I can't pay attention. If I'm coloring. If that makes sense. I would like to find a show... Or another movie that's like Downton Abbey. Oh, you guys, I was obsessed with that TV show. Got my sister-in-law hooked on it. And then when the movies came out, we seen both of them in theater. I loved it. I could probably rewatch that, the, the TV show. Because I loved it so much. The second movie in theater pulled at my heartstrings so bad. Me and my sister-in-law were like in tears in the second movie. Me and her go to movies occasionally because we both kind of have the same taste in movies. So that's always fun. Um, where I live, we used to have a movie theater but it closed down like, I don't know, I'm guessing maybe five years ago. Maybe five years ago. So we have to drive to another town to go see it. See a movie if we want to watch a movie. So we go to one probably that's about 20 minutes away. Ain't too far. But on Tuesdays there, they have $5 movies. So that's always fun to go there. That's when we try to go to them when they have $5 movies. Otherwise, movies can be pretty expensive if you're getting snacks and what else. And if you're paying for two people, it can be like close to $100. So, yeah. With the kids, though, we usually wait till the movies come out and they're fine with that. I don't think they would be able to sit still long enough to sit through a movie. A couple weeks ago we went to that the movie called Priscilla. Um, you've heard of that about Priscilla Presley. That was a really good movie, but we had to drive to another town because the town we normally go to wasn't showing it. And it wasn't a Tuesday, and we didn't know if they had any deals because we don't we're not too familiar with that theater. Yeah, it was like eighty some dollars for everything. 
But at that theater, uh, you can get like a full meal if you want a meal, but we don't. We just get the like popcorn and the pop. And maybe some snacks. But yeah, that was a really good movie too. Yeah, I really like that blue. So if you know anything that's like down to nabby, let me know. And I can look to maybe start watching that. I am still watching Below Deck. Told you guys about that a while back in one of my videos. Drama reality about people on a yacht. I love it. It does take me a while to get through TV shows. Cause like I said, I watch them late at night. Sometimes you get tired. Sometimes you're sucked in and I can't stay up till, you know, all night. Kids at school. I am up, up pretty late, but I can't do all night. <laughs> Gets a little rough in the morning. Sorry, my arm's like way over. There is a color by number book. I think it's color by number. Maybe it's, oh yeah, I think it is. And I don't remember who it's by. Maybe it's like Crayola or something. But the numbers like disappear when you color it. I don't remember what it was called. I've seen it years ago. I don't know if they still make those. Have you guys heard of those? Where like the numbers disappear, which is kind of cool because then you won't see it through the picture. It doesn't bother me that you see it, but that is kind of cool that it'd disappear. One thing that is really nice I enjoy about this book, it's perforated for one. And the page doesn't go all the way up to the spine. Because some of my other coloring books, like the picture goes right up to the spine, which is fine. You know, I like how they make it all the way out, but it's hard to color. Sometimes you can't get your paper in there. I mean, your coloring utensil whatever you're using to color with all the way in there try but then it just leaves like a it looks weird I don't know when I do it do you guys have that too where some of the pages go all the way to the spine and trying to color in it makes it a little difficult but you still color it I mean I still color it it is what it is Go with the flow. Another thing that I have that is kind of like, I think it is, I haven't done it yet. Um, it's kind of like color by number, I guess. The way I look at it is paint by stickers. Have you guys ever tried that? I have one, but I have yet to do it. I think it looks cool, but I haven't done it. And I don't know if my hands would be that steady. Guess I'll have to try it and see how that goes. We're getting close. will be our last color and then we've finished part two I 
I do like these markers though. They do color nice. I feel they do. Do any of you have these markers? What do you think? I usually tell you guys what I'm drinking. Tonight I'm just drinking water. I don't know what it is, but the past couple days I've been so tired. So I've had more coffee than I usually drink, which I shouldn't because I get anxious if I have too, too much coffee. So tonight I'm drinking water because I figured I drank enough coffee today that I probably need some water in me. I do feel rather thirsty today. Pump the page. This is such a fun little book. I'll have to check out the other ones. Browse at them and see. And these cute little birdies. And yes, I do color one square at a time. I've seen some people do multiple at once. Probably goes a lot faster, I would think. I wish I could, but I keep, I get anxious when I do that. And I feel like I'm going to mess up somewhere, the whole page or something. I've always been this way where I do like one part at a time. Just how I am. little worm. Try not to get my whole arm out in the way again for you guys. <laughs> Sorry. Getting close. So how is everyone doing tonight? Or today, wherever you are? I'm doing pretty good. Earlier today, um, my husband and I and the kids, we went out and about. We went to a store called Shoe Sensation. I don't know if you guys have that. We don't really have too, too many stores where we live. So, yeah, we go where we can. Um... But the kids needed winter boots, so we went and got them some winter boots before we get snow, whenever that's going to be. So we're prepared. We already got gloves and hats and everything. I have quite a few of those, actually. Probably have like a drawer full of those. We got snow pants and everything. They are just so excited to play in the snow. And I remember being that way when I was a kid, too. Just wanting to be out in the snow, making little hills, or ice skating rinks, making snowmen and snow forts. Me and my brother, we used to make snow forts in the front yard, and we'd dig holes and crawl through them. Anybody else do any of that stuff when you were younger or still do it? 
I love to do that stuff still. Enjoy it all. Why not? So yeah, we got them some boots and have them be ready. And then we went to Walmart. Got a few things there. My husband um, canned a bunch of cranberry, cranberries, like cranberry sauce, stuff like that. And he wants to make cranberry fluff. You guys ever had cranberry fluff? Do you like cranberry fluff? He said he wasn't going to make it for Thanksgiving. He was going to make it just for us. For Thanksgiving, we're going to my sister's. And I'm going to make green bean casserole. And then we're going to have cranberry sauce. We thought about making like a dip, but we have a decent amount of people there, so there'll probably be plenty. There will be plenty. What am I saying? There'll be plenty of stuff. She doesn't live too far from us, so that's nice. Kids are excited to go there and see their aunts and uncles and cousins and grandma and grandpa. So oh, yeah, we went to Walmart, got a few things, got some coffee. I did some dusting today in my living room, clean that up. I still have my fall stuff up. I'm not ready to decorate yet for Christmas, but in a couple weeks. some laundry. It was a pretty good day. Got it quite a bit accomplished. My husband has a few days off work. He took today off. In a couple more days, so that's nice to spend time with him. Kids were happy too. We're getting closer. Cute. That is so cute. Just a fun little book. It kind of looks like the stained glass, too. That would be pretty. Is one that like a stained glass, like if it was small, like one of those window clings. If you know what I'm talking about. The plastic little hooks that you stick on. Or even like a stained glass window of this would be pretty. We did not so long ago 
well, maybe it's been a few months. We bought those um, little plastic pieces that kind of look like, are they sun catchers? Yeah, sun catchers that kind of look like, you know, they look like that stained glass kind of look kind of, where you paint them. Just random ones you can get. I think we got them at Walmart. My husband did a monkey. I did a rainbow. My daughter, she did a frog on a lily pad. A little bit of water on it. And my son did Spider-Man. And you know, I don't remember doing them as a kid. I probably did. But th that was fun. The kids loved it. And I actually have a few more that we can do too, so I have to definitely do more with them. And then the leaves make me think of pressing leaves. Or you take some leaves and press them in a book. You can frame them too, they look really pretty. Once they're all dried out and framed. Like flowers even. I should do that like this summer or spring do some flowers dry them out and then frame them I think that would look so pretty in our living room do you guys dry anything in frame something fun to do. Little hobby, maybe. And I have frames, that's for sure. All right, just got this little section I believe left and then we'll be finished for tonight. And I will link the coloring book down below, the markers down below, and then there was a previous video where I did swatching of these markers. If you're interested in watching that, I will link that down below as well. But I'm really happy with these markers. I think I like them just about as much as I like love the shuttle art markers. I have some Statler markers that are not my favorite, but I'll still use them. But yeah, these are great. I love them. So last night with the kids, we watched, we did our little movie night. Um, the kids have Thanksgiving break right now, so let them do a movie night after they ate their supper and everything. Um, they played for a little bit and then... They wanted to get the air mattress out and lay in the living room and watch a movie. So 
So we got, so let them pick the movie. I created like this past summer, I call it the movie jar because we always have a hard time deciding which kids movie we want to watch. So I wrote down a bunch of movie names and I put them in this jar. If they can't decide what movie they want to watch that night and they'll pick it and that's the one we try to watch. So last night they picked The Nut Job. Have you guys ever seen that kids movie? It's, it's a cute movie. They watched that last night. Made some popcorn. Made bagged popcorn in the microwave. Usually I make popcorn on the stove with um, my popcorn popper that I have for the stove. But since we had bagged, they wanted that one. So we did that. And usually I don't buy that too often. So we did that. And then I got this mistletoe mix, it's called, from Aldi. Oh, it's so good. That I put some in their popcorn, too. Because we always try to do little snacks in their popcorn. Because I like, I myself like crunch a bunch of in my popcorn. I love it. I always have liked that in my popcorn. I don't eat popcorn too much now and I don't have that but if I crave it I want the crunch a bunch of if I can get it sometimes otherwise I'm fine if it's not but anyway got this mistletoe mix from Aldi and it has milk chocolate covered pretzels dark chocolate covered pretzels it has like little mini Reese's peanut butter cups little tiny I mean they're really really tiny probably the size of my pinky fingertip and then there's like I don't think they're like M&Ms maybe they are like little red candies in there that look like M&Ms and then they have like these little chocolate covered tiny tiny cookies that I think are like Oreos and then they have what else did they have there's something else oh yeah chocolate covered like caramel corn so that was like a little mix and I put a little tiny bit in there um, well I shouldn't say tiny tiny bit I gave them some we'll say in their popcorn and they just devoured it. So yeah, that's a really good little snack mix. So yeah, I always try to put a little snack in there if we have some or figure out something. And then since they're on Thanksgiving break, my son wanted us to get some donuts so bad, so we got donuts for breakfast tomorrow. I'm not a big donut eater, but my kids like to get them once in a while, so. Have you guys ever made home homemade um, donut holes? Oh, those are the best. They taste like, to me, they taste like mini donuts from the fair. And I used to not even like mini donuts, because I don't eat a lot of that stuff. But yeah, they're good, homemade. Alright, just a little bit more left. So yeah, we had a movie night. We didn't do one tonight, but we do one if they're on like a break from school every couple nights. So I think our next movie night, maybe we were talking about watching Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So we might watch that one. Speaking of, you guys seen the 
trailer for the new Wonka movie. I'm excited for that. We own Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Love them both. So I'm really excited to see the Wonka movie. I don't remember. I think it comes out in December. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong on when that comes out. I thought it was maybe. I don't know, but I'm excited for whenever it comes out. The new Trolls movie is already out. My son wants to see that so bad. I can't wait till we're able to watch it at home. Because I liked both of the other two, so. and the kids did too. And the music. We all like the music in those movies, but I like music in most movies. I love musicals. Love, love, love musicals. Okay, it looks like I have... Oh, I got some up here. For some reason, I missed that. Get that one in here. Yeah, let me know how you guys color white. If you color the white or you just leave it in coloring books. Okay, it looks like two more. Last one. Wow. I love it. See, it's a cute little book. Just something fun to do. Well, what do you guys think? So that's going to be it for tonight. Again, that's Posh Creations Color by Number, Steve Duffendack. I use the Dabo and Chobo Dual Tip Art Markers. I'll link everything below. If you liked this content, please consider giving it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see some more, please consider subscribing. It would really help my channel. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and have a nice night. Bye!